So on number 20, it says the coordinates of the vertices of a quadrilateral are negative 1, 3, 3, comma 3, 5, nine, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1. Find the perimeter of the quadrilateral round to the nearest tenth. Nice. OK. So what we need to do for this case is we need to work on finding the distance between each one. Because we have the quadrilateral, right? So we have these points. A lot of times what I'd like to do is plot these points so I can kind of see what they look like. R is negative 1, 3, 1, 2, 3. Uh, S is 3, comma 3, 1, 2, 3. T is 5, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And U is negative 2, <coughs> negative 1. That's it? No, no, no. That's the shape of it. That's the figure, right? But so that looks like a uh, trapezoid. But now what they're asking us to do, ladies and gentlemen, is find the perimeter. And the perimeter is going to be, do you remember the perimeter? What the perimeter, what I'm asking for the perimeter? Do you remember the perimeter? What is the perimeter asking for? Oh, the, the distance around it? Yeah, it's asking for the distance around it. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I need to determine the distance of RS. I need to determine the distance of ST. I need to de determine the distance of RU. And I need to de determine the distance of UT. So you're going to have to find the distance of all four of those sides, because they're asking you, what is the distance all the way around this figure? All right? So we got a lot of work to do. So if I do RS, remember we have the distance. So remember we wrote the distance as the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Right? That was part of our distance formula that we came through. So now, if I do r, r and s, I'll do this is x1, this is x2, y1, y2. So I'll do uh, negative 1 minus 3 squared plus, uh, well, I'm going to do x2, never mind. I'll do 3 minus a negative 1 and then 3 minus 3 squared. To do r, r, u, uh, distance equals, so I'll have, let's just call this uh, x3, y3. So I'll do negative 2 minus a negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 3 squared. Actually, let's call these 4. x3 and y3. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just plugging them in there as different points. It doesn't really matter how you label them. You could all label them x1 and y1 if you want to. st, so we have s and then t. So what I'll do is distance equals the square root of, let's do 5 minus 3 and then squared plus negative 1 minus 3 squared. And then ut, which will be these two, distance equals the square root of negative 2 minus 5 squared plus negative 1 minus 1 squared. Does everybody understand how I've set up each one of those? Every single time, all I did is, I know not everyone is x2 and x1, because you said these are only x2 and x1. But all I did is I subtracted the x variables, and I subtracted the y variables. And what's important is I always did it in the same order. So I always subtracted one point from another point. It didn't matter if it was the x's or the y's. You always do it in the same order. Now let's go and simplify this as best we can. So 3 minus a negative 1 is going to be 4. 4 squared is 16 plus 0. So the distance equals here, squared of 16, is 4. Over here, we have 2. 2 squared is 4. Over here, we have uh, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. So therefore, we have the square root of 20. Over here, we're going to have a positive 1, so that's a negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. And that's going to be uh, negative 4. Negative 4 squared is going to be 16. 
So you'd have 1 plus 16, which would be the square root of 17. You guys can just double check my work, make sure. Um, and then over here, I have negative 2 minus 7, negative 2 minus 5, which would be a negative 7. Negative 7 squared is 49. RS. How is that 4? 3 minus 1. That's 4, 16. Hmm. That just doesn't seem right. That's negative 1 minus a negative 1, actually. So that becomes 0. Oh, squared. OK, yeah, that's right. So that's the square root of 49. Square root of 49 is equal to 7, right? Because that becomes 0. Negative 1 minus a negative 1 is 0. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at this, we have ut is 7, rs is 4, st is the square root of 20, and here is the square root of 7. All right? So now, what they're asking us, what is the distance all the way around? Does everybody see what I did, what I was able to do? OK? So now, we can just take our lovely handy calculator, because they ask us to do it into the nearest tenth. So I'll just do uh, square root of 20 plus uh, the square root of 17 plus uh, 7 and plus 4. And we have 19. 0.60. So you can say the perimeter is 19.60. And they didn't give us any unit measure, so I don't believe, did they? Did they give us a unit measure? No. So it's just going to be in units. OK? So you guys asked, wanted to do a distance problem there.